Hello, internet people, again. I have not changed my shirt, so clearly it is the same day <laughs> as my last video. <laughs> but <laughs> here we go. We are talking about, boom, Thomas A. Lott's personal opinions about personality, Jungian cognitive functions, and uh, the Myers-Briggs TI uh objective personality and stuff like that <clears throat> so in our last episode we talked about the dave and shan's grid and all of the functional people who are similar to each other based on their animal ordering stuff and yada 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 what we have not talked about is the heck does any of that mean at all uh i'll get to that in a separate video if i feel like it <laughs> i might never do that but I might. And if I do, click it here in the upper right hand corner. I, I don't know how YouTube works. Anyway, so here's, um, so I promised in my last video to talk about how I did my split up. You know, so the Dave and Shans have done <laughs> theirs this way, ordering, ordering it from most introverted introvert um, on the far left and most extroverted extroverts on the far right, and everything in between, in between. How I've kind of uh, slightly changed theirs is to, to take, so we've got um, Play and Blast, which are the extroverts, and then Sleep and Consume, which are the introverts, and split them uh, vertically. So those on top are more extroverted, those on bottom, are more introverted, those on the left are more introverted, those on the right are more extroverted. So, um, so let's see. Of the extroverts, the plays, play first, are the most extroverted extroverts. And of the introverts, the consumers are the most extroverted introverts. And then we've got, of the extroverts, you've got the um, the most introverted of the extroverts are the blasters, which sounds ridiculous because they ain't introverted, typically. Um, except Kate Blanchett. Like, she's an introvert, right? She's, like, she's not going to be talking your ear off at a dinner party. Probably. Um, but technically, she's just in that group. It's just, you know, how it, how it breaks down. We'll talk about the details later, maybe, if I get around to it. So anyway, so how did I do my grids? So this is kind of how I have to think about things. So I, I think about it in, in kind of four different groups. I think... Um, I think Socionics calls them the quadras, which basics, basically means that in each of these four different groups, you've got um, everybody in that group has the same function stack. For example, you know, FE, TI, SE, NI. So every single person in this group Every single possible personality type in this group has the same exact functions. They're just ordered in a different way and like hooked up in a different way, but it's the same functions. All of these people have FE. All of these people have SE, etc. Just you know, in a different order, different magnitude, different grant stack, yada yada yada. But it's all the same parts. Same basic part. So you can think of everybody in this group as like cousins. Um, so everybody here is going to feel like when you talk to, if you are in this group, which I am, uh, everybody in this group is going to feel more kind of the same, <laughs> more normal <laughs> in some ways than every other person on the planet. It just because they like they speak your language when they do when they blast it's like i recognize that because that's my kind of blast when they consume 
It's like my kind of consume. When they, you know, etc. Um, because it's just like that's the way with I would do it. You know, when I, <laughs> if I ever get around to, you know, nerd style, uh, deeply processing my own known information, this is how I do it. I do it the same way that these guys are doing it all day long. So I can think of my sleep as being, oh, I'm Henry Rollinsing, or I'm Eminem-ing, I'm Manning, Odoming, <laughs> George Lucasing, etc. I'm verbing, <laughs> verbing the nouns, nouning the verbs, etc. So all of us, everybody in this quadrant, oh my camera shut off. And I'm back. Hello. It's me. Uh, everybody in this quadrant, when we go to blast, we're going to do it via NF. <laughs> so none of us are going to be super clear in our blast. And not like everybody else. Um, not like like the ST blasts over here. Oh man, when they're blasting, it's so clear. So clear. But um man, when when we blast, it ain't clear, man. <laughs> it's not quite clear. <laughs> So like it'll be so clear in my head. <laughs> it's so it's so clear in here. It's and when I'm when I'm consuming things, it's I'm absolute clarity of how I'm consuming things, very precision coming in and just <laughs> going out. And you know, it's spectrums within spectrums within spectrums, you know, people, you know, are it's a skill, etc. You can get better at things and you know preparation helps etc but yeah anyway so that's that's kind of how the quadra thing works so now kind of the same principle applies as here where top right is the most extroverted extroverts top bottom left is the most introverted introverts bottom's introvert left's introvert right's extrovert so top right is most extrovert bottom left is most introvert etc relative to others in that group so i kind of took that concept and ran with it to its logical extreme so let's take this uh group for instance this is um the group that includes um dave and shan of the dave and shans as well as uh, Tony Robbins, Michelle Obama, um, V, Versavia, Kobe Bryant, Kim Kardashian. It's like they're all cousins. They're all the same parts, just in a different order, organized in a different way, firing in a different order, whatever. So each of these people are going to be extremely different from one another extremely different but all of them are going to be the same in lots of ways compared to everybody in this group so for example let's let's get super specific so there's gary v he's the most extroverted of the um nf blasters the sf players the whatever we're calling this quadrant um, versus Tony Robbins, who is the most extroverted of the um, ST play folks. So why is he number 512 and uh, Gary V ain't? Why is Tony Robbins more extroverted than Gary V? Because Gary V's blast is NF blast, which is the most blast. Now, Gary Vee is super good at it, but he's never going to be as clear with his blast as, um, I guess, um, Tony Robbins is actually kind of less clear with his blast, but more clear with his extrovertedness. <laughs> Let's see, who'd be the most clear blast? Who's the ST blasters? 
yeah, these folks over here have the most clear blast. Like, Michael Gerber, technically the most introverted of the ST blasters, is still going to feel super extroverted when he speaks because it's just extremely clear. Clear details, clear reasons, very well thought through, very well organized. Um, and so his... When he goes to speak his known information, it's not going to be a lot of... Bleh, not a lot of... Um, you know what I mean. Not, he's not going to be doing that a whole lot. Versus... Um, Gary V, who's uh, as an NF blaster, second. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I need to to get some specific videos to demonstrate what it is I'm <laughs> what it is I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So how I've organized these, I gotta stop moving that around. It's probably making your car sick. Sorry about that. <laughs> So of this group, so you've got the the top right quadrant is the the double extroverts. Bottom left is double introverts. Uh, bottom right's consume. Top left blast. So you got sleep, consume, blast, play. Bottom row is, are the introverts. Top row is the extroverts. And that same pattern repeats itself when you zoom in. So of these introverts. Um, the top two groups here, Sleep Blast Consume and Sleep Blast Play, both of these groups are the more introverted two groups of the uh, sleep uh, section of this particular quadra. I need to find better words for all these things. Ugh. Sorry. And... Let's see. So these guys down here are going to be the more introverted of them. Let's see. The the bottom right are going to be the most consumy because you know consume when you uh, zoom out. Consume is on the bottom right, so the bottom right quadrant is the most consumy of each quadrant. So. Since they have blast fourth, that doubles their consume. So these two of this quadra are the most um, consumy of the anti-sleepers. <laughs> I'll explain all these terms later. Um, let's see. So let me dive into this group over here. So here you've got an interesting group. Here you've got people like Chael Sonnen, Dr. Phil, Brittany Snow. They're like so different from, from like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Jordan Peterson and Tony Hawk, Robert Greene. So, so, so different. Why are they so different? Because they're opposites. They're cousins, so they're exact opposites, mirror opposites of one another. Like, um, Dr. Phil is like the anti-Jordan Peterson. They're like <laughs> opposite upon opposite upon opposite. Right? But they still have the same parts which is fascinating. So they're actually more similar to one another than they would be to like um, T.D. Jakes, right? <laughs> Compare T.D. Jakes to um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. So different, so different. Why do they feel so different even though they're both consume, play, blast, sleep, Double masculine. Let me just let me show these people up here. Consume, play, blast. That'd be here. Consume, play, blast. Double masculine. Right. 
So here they are. They're super, super close to each other. T.D. Jakes and Neil deGrasse Tyson. I need to move him over there. There we go. So they're... They should... They should be the same in a lot of ways when um, thinking about things from the, the animal point of view. Like, they're... A lot of their behaviors are going to be the same. A lot of their problems in life are going to be the same. I guess, but it's just so hard to see that in reality. Right? Like, <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson and T.D. Jakes. And, like, Candace Owens. And, okay, yeah. Now, compare Jordan Peterson and Greg Plitt. Like, the most opposite people in the world. Right? But... They're the same in some ways, but it's so hard to see that um, when you separate it like this. So that's why it's separated into different groups, because it's just, it breaks your brain less. <laughs> you, it's, it, it requires less suspension of disbelief, right? So you've got here, like, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Jordan Peterson... They're, like, so much more similar than T.D. Jakes and Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> right? They're both, like, super extroverted, talkative nerds. <laughs> they talk about different topics, different subjects. But, like, if you kind of squint, they're like, okay, I can see it, sure. They're, like, cousins. All right. And it's just, it's less disbelievable <laughs> versus, um, let's see. And, like, Obama and uh, Marquez Brownlee, like, you can see how they're, like, okay, they're both kind of nerdy. They're both kind of kind of quiet. When they talk, it's kind of, <laughs> I can't quite describe what it is I'm talking about. But, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's that, you know what I mean, factor? Versus, like, you see Tony Hawk talking and, and Jake Gyllenhaal talking, it's like, okay. But Jake Gyllenhaal and, and Marquez Brownlee, your Bear Grylls, it's like, no. It doesn't seem doesn't seem right that doesn't seem the same because it's not it's different it's nt consume versus st consume it's sf blast versus nf blast it's st sleep versus nt sleep it's a big difference it's completely different parts operating in the same way you know it's like comparing a boat and a truck it's like sure maybe it's got the exact same engine in it but One's on the water and one's on the road. I don't get it. Doesn't seem the same. So anyway, I've separated it out like this so it just feels less bizarre. Anyway, so uh, let's play with this more because this is fun. Um, let's see. So you've got like Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston and Greg Plitt. It's like, okay, sure. They're in the same kind of general family cousins sure and then oh man i forget his name what is his name again oh man he's on that one show he's like um actually was he typed this i don't remember i'm just gonna ignore that for now i forget what he was typed i think that was my guess for him oh i think he is and anyway whatever i'll look it up later so, and then like if you squint, you're like, okay, I can kind of see how these are all in kind of in the same sort of family tree-ish. These are like the more extroverted, and here are like the more introverted of the same kind of family. Um, there's the more serious on the left side, the kind of the more playful on the right side. Um, same deal here. It's like Rick Budo versus Steve Jobs. It's like, um, 
Rick Beto is going to be more playful and more fun. Steve Jobs is like more serious and more intense. Um, even like uh, Dave Powers, what up? Uh, is going to be more fun, more playful. Um, because both of these sections over here are the are the less playful <laughs> and they're i put them on the left because it's furthest away from play thinking about it in kind of a spatial orientation kind of way imagine like forces repelling like uh, steve jobs is the least playful <laughs> of actually you can be even less playful than that i just don't have any of those people on my uh group and uh, like, Ty Lopez is the least playful of the, um, this group up here, but still has activated play. But compared to Hassan Minaj, it's like, Hassan Minaj is gonna be, like, a super fun, playful Ty Lopez. Compared to Ty, Ty Lopez is more serious and more intense, and Hassan Minaj is more fun and more playful. And then, like, the same with these guys, LJ and Mo. Uh, seems disrespectful. Michelle Obama and LJ. <laughs> um, they're going to be more serious than Hassan Minaj, but more playful than Ty Lopez and Marie Forleo. You know? Um, but they're still going to be so much more serious and intense than, like, a, ta like a uh, Hassan Minaj. And then I don't have anybody over here. And then, like, this group here. Let's see. I forget what I was going over here. Um, I might have to rearrange some of this. So the, right, this, uh, the bottom left is the most introverted of the, this group. So just for context again, where are we? Uh, let's see. So this is the ST Blast NF Sleep folks. So of them, here are the most extroverted of them. And of the most extroverted of them, here are the most introverted of them. And that is uh, Shan of the Dave and Shans. So she's kind of glass lizardy, glass lizardy, um, which is that she's not going to seem super extroverted because she's actually way more introverted. She's just technically in that group, although she's the most introverted of people in that group. Um, which is kind of weird, but, you know, that's how it, it plays out in reality. And then when you go into the most extroverted of the most extroverted of the most extroverted, uh, Tony Horton is the most introverted of them. And Tony Robbins is the most extroverted, which is very interesting. Uh, let's see. And, yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't uh, organized this group by funness and, <laughs> and serious, seriousness. Um, I haven't really thought about that at all. So, but this group here, just look at, just look at these photos. Look at Charlemagne versus Greg Plitt, right? It's like, it, the difference is... So obvious. There, I mean, obviously, you know, he's black, he's white. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, look at his face. This dude is not playing around. He is super serious. And this dude is not serious. He is playing around. It's just like, this is a fun guy face. And this is a serious guy face. So, 
Um, so it's interesting. All of these people are going to be more serious on the left, and all of the ones on the right are going to be are going to feel more. I don't want to say this; it feels rude, but more fun. However, you describe fun, just more um, playful. But even down here, this is more serious than this up here. This is more playful. Um, although you know Jennifer Aniston does seem super serious in a lot of ways. <clears throat> So I think that is partly to do with her um, modalities. I haven't really thought through the the spectrum of serious to f playful, fun when it comes to the modalities of the quadras. I'll do that later, maybe. Probably not. Um, maybe. Um, so that brings us to the spectrums of spectrums of spectrums of spectrums which is what I've started to chip away here at here, and I can cover that in my next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, yeah, I need to... Goodbye.